What's going on guys? This is Steel Rain and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a frame overview of the real ACC Carbon Star frame. Um, we'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, basically it's a one piece uh, monocue frame so it's all just been laid down. The top actually does come off so you have access to your your um, flight controller bay down in there and uh, as you can see it's it's pretty pretty deep down in there uh, you can see the holes coming from each one of the arms cut out so you feed your wires into here um, one of the things you'd notice right off the bat is that once there's a PDB or a flight controller in there there's really no way to access the uh, USB to update it on beta flight or a uh, race flight kiss what well, you know what have you so that's gonna be one problem um, what I'm gonna go ahead and have to do is Dremel a hole out here out, out the back here uh, just to be able to have some sort of access so I could update it because like I said once it's locked down in here and the wires come through the arms and are soldered on there's no way you're gonna be able to get to it you know unless you somehow get creative and like I said I'm just gonna Dremel a hole out out the back and um, what I'm gonna be running in this for a flight controller is the uh, the Maya Airbot uh, F4 Helheim all-in-one with uh, 30 amp ESC's BL Heli S um, it's gonna make the build real hopefully real easy and clean like I said I'm gonna Dremel an area out the back for this right in here and that way I could have access to my USB but it'll make a nice clean build keep it low profile and um, still have access out, out of the back and the battery wires will have an easy access out as well so um, pretty much you have the top the main part and you can see below it's got um, you know it's kinda hollowed out in here solid here it's got uh, uh, looks like some sort of press fit lock nuts in there that's gonna hold on the top and um, this piece down here basically you'll run your wires underneath and uh, it'll go ahead and cover it up and these four bolt holes here will go all the way through to the flight controller stack and um, hold it in nice and secure and you also have a slot there for your battery strap to go through it'll be a bottom mounted battery strap uh, let's go ahead and get some frame thicknesses here so we'll go ahead and get the get the sides first looks like it's sitting at about 1.7 or so uh, 1.5 I mean pretty thin but I can't I can't flex it it has no flex to it at all so hopefully it'll be pretty durable especially in crashes uh, that'll be another bad thing about it too if you do crash a frame like this and break an arm you're pretty much out the whole frame it's not replaceable so you know that's a bad thing um, see what this is at that's sitting at one and a half millimeters as well and the top about one and a half millimeters so overall one and a half millimeters but it like I said it seems pretty rigid doesn't flex at all and uh, seems like they did a, a pretty good job with their mold and the way they polished it up and everything I just wish they would have taken into account the the USB port in the back so you could update the darn thing but you know it is what it is um, other things it comes with we'll go ahead and uh, go through that it comes with a uh, real ACC battery strap pretty cheap not rubberized probably won't be using it probably use it on something else that's you know not not so much important for batteries anyway comes with some uh, some of these 3M landing pads which I don't even know why you'd you'd need it because the arms are raised and there wouldn't really be, be anywhere to put it anyway so I don't see the point in them you know giving it with that uh, comes with a 3D printed camera mount and basically how this works is that you'll go ahead and put that on there um, mount your run cam I've already uh, put uh, pre uh, fabricated a run cam in there and it fits pretty tight 
just tighten up the screws on the side and then the top will go on and everything locks into place with four screws. So that's not too bad. Go ahead and leave that on there for when we weigh it. Uh, it comes with some flight controller uh, plastic, cheap plastic standoffs, which I'm not going to be using. They're, I'm probably going to end up using some of these uh, Maytech uh, rubber dampeners for soft mounting the flight controller, get all the vibrations out. So it comes with a, looks like a uh, carbon fiber battery protection pad with some foam. Uh, get some foam cushioning for your battery as well. And it looks like some of that rubbery 3M stuff that'll grip your battery. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use that at all. Um, I might just to protect the battery. We'll see, see how much weight it adds. Um, it also comes with, it says a Maytech uh, power distribution board, but no one real ACC. I, and it definitely looks like a clone as well. So probably, I'm not going to be using that. Like I said, I'm going to be using the all in one. And last thing it comes with is eight screws. Uh, you have four for the top here. And uh, when you flip it over, you'll have four for the bottom. And that'll be your uh, flight controller screws as well. So, all that being said, let's go ahead and see how much this naked frame weighs. Sorry if this doesn't show up on, on uh, camera here. Let's go ahead and turn it on and let it zero out. All right. And I'm showing 102 grams. So say so go ahead and throw on a battery strap, the screws. Won't be using the, the PDB, but here's the, let's see, that would be the battery pad and uh, go ahead and throw in the flight controller standoffs just for good measure and uh, we're showing 124 grams which that's a that's a pretty porky frame considering um, I mean there's a lot to it but it's not the heaviest frame but it's not the lightest so you know I, we'll have to see how it does um, especially with uh, I'm going to be throwing in some um, T-Motor F43 the 2600 kV motors so we'll have to see how it does with the uh, with these motors and some decent props I'll probably be running the gym fan uh, flash 5152s on it so should be pretty aggressive take all this stuff off so so far I mean it's it's a it's a beautiful frame uh, really like the looks of it uh, I'd have to say one of the main advantages of it is that uh, it's going to be pretty aerodynamic the arms are pretty much vertical as you can see I mean it really thick down the sides so it seems like it's gonna have some some pretty good dur durability I don't see any flex in it so hopefully the carbon holds up but you know then again you never know with ACC so anyways guys oh I forgot to uh, mention too it's got a little slit in the back for your VTX antenna um, suppose you could you can mount a pigtail uh, through there as well a little SMA pigtail or whatnot so anyways guys that's gonna be the uh, the small overview of this until I get it built and flying uh, leave any comments below and uh, if you guys enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and and share and uh, as always guys thank you for watching see ya